Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market-leading stocks for the coming session. This is going to be for Wednesday, October 15th, 2014. We've got a, an absence pretty much of signals here on the uh, on the NASDAQ side, so we're perhaps in, in, a, in a place where we can uh, maybe make a bit of a turn here. We had kind of a measuring day today where they uh, capped them up and uh, really weren't able to uh, reverse things. So what that does is kind of keeps us contained pretty much within the previous day's candle. Uh, for the broad market, we're seeing that spill down to the uh, to the individual equities as well. Um, there's a couple things moving around. We've got a couple of volume bumps. We've got one in EA Entertainment Arts. That's really weak, 3% below the day's open with a VWAP deviation. First Solar is also uh, seeing some good volume. That one's actually trading fairly positively. A lot of things are below their open. That one's still holding above it. So keep an eye on that on the long side for tomorrow. Uh, we've got a downside CPS setting up in win, but that one's on uh, on fairly late volume. Moving on to the financials. Uh, we're starting to see some uh, some RPSs here. We had uh, a couple of big banks report today. So they're kind of uh, digesting that and hopefully uh, going to give us something to work with tomorrow. Uh, Wells Fargo is one of the banks that were reported. You can see the reflection in the, uh, in the volume bump. They're trading well more than 2%. Uh, more more than twice its typical uh, volume. That one is 2% below the day's VWAP. So that one's being sold and closed fairly aggressively. We've got a couple other uh, volume bumps here as well. And we've got one in uh, Citigroup that's got a contra candle with it. So those are all going to be important to watch for tomorrow. Looking at the energy names, energy, you know, oil, oil was down as much as $4 today. Right now it's trading below $82 a barrel. So the uh, energy names are still in motion. We've got a bunch of open close deviations and a bunch of volume deviations. So a couple of these things are actually getting down to key levels. So make sure you take a look at the uh, energy names tonight. As far as the generals go, uh, we've got a, a few RPSs stacking up here, but uh, but the buy side is pretty much mitigated by the same amount of, of uh, stocks on the sell side. So we don't have a bias here. Definitely seeing some volume bumps here. Um, Dow Chemical, the chemicals have been weak and they continue to be weak, at least uh, for another session here. 2% below the day's open, more than 1% below the day's VWAP. A lot of uh, weakness today in Johnson & Johnson, almost 4% below the day's open on two times its typical volume. Moving on to the housing names, a lot of volume here and, uh, and a lot of movement as well. You can see the open close deviations. Um, some of these things are moving pretty well. Hobnanian is uh, more, almost two and a half percent above the day's open. Transports, a lot of uh, a lot of action in the transports. Starting to see uh, the semblance of a bounce here. Uh, the uh, transports and the uh, and the energy stocks tend to trade together just because of uh, where they are in the cycle. The funny thing is, a lot of people think you know uh, lower oil prices are good for transportation stocks. That's not true at all. Actually. Uh, Relationships just the opposite. Um, they tend, tend to trade in the same direction as uh, as energy prices. So as energy prices go down, they're under pressure. We could be seeing a little bit of a lead here from the transports by them starting to bounce here today. That may spill over into the uh, into the uh, energy plays tomorrow. So keep an eye on that. Today could be a climactic down day for crude oil. Commodities, um, you know, definitely moving around here. Double um, A, uh, real weak again today with with volume. Potash. Is uh, strong today with a with a volume bump. Um, the dollar still in motion. Um, you know, it's it's one percent stronger versus the pound, and uh, three quarters of a percent stronger versus the uh, the euro today. So definitely seeing some movement there. Um, so we could see some uh, some moving around if we uh, start to see some kind of a bottom form, and maybe start to see gold rebound a little bit. But uh, for now, um, focus really isn't on those so much as. Uh, as the energy names for tomorrow, so keep an eye on those. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.